hello everyone so welcome to this tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to create some nice looking wrinkles as you can see on the screen so these wrinkles are entirely made from using some alpha maps so let us see how we can do this so before this what i would recommend you guys is check out the description where i have give, where i have provided some uh, links for the free alpha maps so please download that and once you download that just create a folder and you will just copy this four zip files to that folder and after that extract them so after you extract you get all the four folders and if you open the single folder you can see that you are having this alpha maps right here similarly to all these things as you can see then what i would recommend you is create another folder uh, rename it to uh, whatever you want and and just copy all this alpha maps to this folder so that you get all this uh, alpha wrinkles at one place okay so once you have done that what we are going to do is we are going to open the substance painter and i'm going to go to file new and from here i'm going to select my model okay our model is loaded up so first thing what i like to do is i'm i'm going to change the environment to something a uh, studio type so you can find tomaco studio here if you type this tomaco you will just get this tomaco studio okay and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, delete this layer right here and now i'm going to bring our alpha maps for that i'll minimize this i'll go to the wrinkles or wrinkles and i'll just press ctrl a and just drag this to the substance panel and drop it here now from here i'm going to press this first one and going to come to the last one and shift click so that i will select all the files like this from here i'm going to click on this tab and i will i would highly recommend you guys to put this into the library because i have i have already ha i'm already having this in my substance painter library so i'll do this current section but i will recommend you to put this in your library okay so i will say import right now uh okay so before importing we have to convert this to an alpha and just say import okay so right now you can see that we got this bunch of uh, alpha maps that it will be very useful for us for creating this wrinkles so what i would recommend you guys is to have a reference image so that you can follow that reference image to create the wrinkles so let me bring out my puref from the next window so i have this reference image right here so i'm going to follow this reference image to create that wrinkles so what is my method of creating wrinkles is what i do is i just go to this tab right here this is add fill layer and what i'm going to do now is i'll just bring this next what i do is i just turn off everything and i leave this height channel on and i can slide this to negative value something like this and then i'm going to right click here and say add a black mask and on this mask i'm going to right click and say add a paint layer okay so after this what we are going to do next is we are going to add a alpha map to our grayscale uh, tab right here so let me find a good alpha map to replicate this wrinkles right here so i'm going to drop this alpha right here like this okay guys so let us start creating the wrinkles so before that let me go ahead and click once and see the rotation of the wrinkle so you can always rotate your alpha map by holding control and uh, left mouse button drag like that so let me rotate to an appropriate position like this okay so one thing i would recommend you guys is to turn on this symmetry button right here because uh, alpha creating creating wrinkles itself is a tedious process but once you create with symmetry this will uh, copy from left to right so you can always go ahead and modify your wrinkles to make it look 
imperfect so let us start creating the wrinkles then so i'll just click once like this and i'm going to hold i'm going to go for the smudge tool right here and i'm going to increase the size and decrease the flow to somewhere around 25 and i'm going to drag it like this i'm going to decrease the size and i'm going to just hold my left click and rub like this so that it will make the corners smooth you can also go for your eraser tool and right click and reduce the flow and start erasing these corners and also the wrinkles that you don't like like that so, so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another pillar right here and i'm going to turn off everything i leave the height like this and bring this to the to the negative side right click add black black mask right click add a paint layer and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the paint layer right here and i'm going to decrease the size of this brush and click here like this okay why did i create a different layer when i could have created the wrinkle in the same layer because when you want to modify this uh, this wrinkle right here which is in the middle and when you want to erase the parts you should like if you create in this in this in the same layer while erasing you are going to mess up the big wrinkles so that is the reason i have created a different layer right here so let me go and use the smudge tool like that so you can think as if uh, this is the small wrinkles this is the big wrinkles so let me come to the big wrinkles part again and just create a big wrinkle right here like this i'm going to use my smudge tool and let me come to the small wrinkles and right now i'm going to change the wrinkle itself so let me find a different alpha okay let me drag this okay let us see how it is looking okay so let me go ahead to the paint tool again and i'm going to drag and drop a different wrinkle so i would recommend you guys to keep on trying with some different wrinkle shapes so that there will be a good variations like that awesome right now i'm going to turn off the symmetry mode like this and i'm going to continue this area so i'm going to go for the big uh paint so i'm going to go for the big big wrinkles right here and go to the brush tools and i'm going to drop some other wrinkles so also you can see your reference image so i'm going to use this wrinkle right here 
I'm going to increase the size like this. I'm going to click right here and use my smudge tool. Like that. Let me go for the small wrinkles again and reduce the size. Come to the brush. Click on this. Okay guys, so you can see that uh, by using this method, you can create some really nice wrinkles like this. So I would highly recommend you guys to spend a good amount of time and use some good amount of wrinkles to create this type of uh, wrinkle effect. So once you have done with all the wrinkles, so you will have something like this as you can see that so this is the same method what i have used and after you complete the wrinkles from all the sides you will get a really nice wrinkles pillow that you can use in your project okay guys thank you very much and this is it for this video and i'll see you in my next video but till then do subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button if this video really helped you thank you